tip number 98, don't forget to place other mounting holes, for example, the holes for heatsink. And uh, I can see some people laughing again, yeah, when I place the tip about don't forget uh, to place mounting holes, board mounting holes, that some, some people were like, uh, what is this tip about, yeah, no one is forgetting this stuff. People do. And this is similar tip, yeah? This is not about the board mounting holes, but this is about the mounting holes which you may need. I'm going to show you an example, yeah? This is a, uh, this is our open source uh, baseboard for IMX6 Rex module. These are the board mounting holes, main four mounting holes. But as you can see, we add much more mounting holes. See, all this here, there are some additional mounting holes. Because we need mounting holes for the module. We need, we need mounting holes for heating. And we also add mounting holes uh, to be sure that when we place a big heatsink on this board and there are some vibration, we really need to be sure the board is properly fixed. So if you place a heavy heatsink on the board, you really would like to maybe add additional mounting holes so the board is not going to vibrate and it's not going to break. So for example, this hole in the middle, this is the additional mounting holes, which is going to help uh, fixing the board. And uh, as I said, this is serious. Yeah? If you are not thinking about these mounting holes, then uh, it's going to be a huge problem. Once you finish this design and you realize you need to add a heat sink, how you are going to fit it here? And even, okay, you say, okay, I'm going to make new revision of the board and I'm going to add these mounting holes. It's going to be a lot of work. Mounting holes, they take a lot of space. If you try to place a mounting holes into already routed area, it's going to take you a lot of time. You need to delete a lot of existing layout and reroute it. Especially if the board uh, is high density, it's going to take a lot of time. So you really would like to think about all the kind of mounting holes which you may need on your board before you actually start doing the layout. Okay? As I said, it's not funny. It's, it's really a situation which can help and which actually can really happen to some people. Yeah, as I said, many people, if they move from microcontrollers to processor boards, they don't think about heat distribution. They don't think about heating. You need to Thing. when you finish your schematic you need to think about all this additional stuff and maybe additional mounting holes tip number 98 don't forget to place other mounting holes why it may be very difficult to add mounting holes into already routed area 